Welcome to WeCreateEDU. Today we're talking about Twitter. I already had a SciJoy account and now I wanted to create a WeCreateEDU account. You can see that I actually used a different name originally, but it was really easy to change later. And I wanted to know how could I manage both accounts and how could I also add other moderators because there's more than just me that is running this channel. So I use something called TweetDeck. I had to log into TweetDeck using the CreateEDU account because I wanted to add SciJoy as an admin and I wanted to add a bunch of other moderators too. That There are a bunch of features on the side you can use. You can look at your feed, your notifications, your messages you have from other people, your activities, your mentions, and you can play around with the things that you want to see. You can also create specific um, lists as individual columns. I wanted to go down to the manage the team section and add myself and authorize SciJoy to be not just a contributor, but I wanted them to be an admin so I can control more things. And then I added a bunch of other people as contributors so they can tweet on behalf of WeCreateEDU. Then I had to sign into TweetDeck as SciJoy, and that's the one I mainly use now. And after I accepted the authorization, I can now tweet from either SciJoy or from WeCreateEDU. You can see I can write a regular tweet, I can add images or I can even schedule tweets to go out at a later date. I can also direct message people on the WeCreateEDU one or the SciJoy. And I wanted to take a brief look at analytics. If you go to your Twitter page, you can go to your profile, go down to analytics, and you can look through the different ones that they have, and it kind of gives you a snapshot of every month. What is your top mention, your top tweet, maybe your top tweet with media in it, and you can see how many people looked at it, how many people clicked on it, how many people favorited it or retweeted it, and you can also look at each individual tweet in your own feed by clicking on the little bar graph, and it will show you how many impressions or engagements and link clicks is pretty cool to know too. But you can only look at that on the ones that you originally created. Anything that you've retweeted, you can't see. So if I wanted to look at this we create edu tweet and its analytics, I would have to go to that individual account. And analytics is something I just started using a few months ago, so I wanted to let you guys see that. Thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.